What we know is that people who live in poverty have poor health compared with those who don't. And we think we know the reasons for it. So that tackling those reasons could make a real difference to their health. The caveat is that inequalities in health are not confined to people in absolute poverty, but it's a social gradient. The lower you are in the social hierarchy, the higher the risk. So we need to tackle not only poverty, but inequality. Coventry is a really complex place in terms of the number of people in it, the number of agencies, the organisations, and so are other cities. So there's a lot that can be learned. We're really proud of the relationship that we have with Professor Michael Marmot and also that we continue to be a Marmot city. It encapsulates everything we're trying to do. Tackling health inequalities at the heart of how we are going to make such a substantial difference to the people within Coventry. We make vulnerable people the centre of what we do uh, as a city council and as we are the city of European City of Sport uh, in 2019, City of Culture 2021 uh, and will be part of the Commonwealth Games 2022, we'll be trying to create the backdrop uh, that will enable all people to benefit from what the council is achieving. I think uh, having Sir Michael Marmot, a uh, world expert in inequalities, uh, and he gave us a fantastic uh, you know, lecture on basically some of the um, highlights that we need to actually change. And what we need to do is make sure we're living in a developed world, um, and we need to make sure that in, in every possible way we can reduce um, the impact of that poverty and prevent that poverty in the first place. An event like today is really important because it allows people to really have an open and honest discussion, really to share what works in the city, but more importantly we need to get better at talking about what's not working so collectively we can fix it. When we work with priority communities we're very concerned about uh, people maintaining their financial resilience, maintaining a, a sustainable housing and uh, as much as we can we want to help people to develop the skills to uh, help them you know, improve themselves and improve their economic situation. It? And when we often see people in primary care and general practice, um, people can have be having crisis points and I think being able to recognise that there are wider determinants of health um, and that actually it's not a case of it's not my job, there's nothing I can do here, but seeing it as a holistic role and being able to at least be aware of other organisations that are out there that can help is, is obviously one point, but that's only when people are in crisis. I think we've got a much deeper responsibility to be able to know our patients, know our communities and to be able to work in a preventative way where health is concerned to improve people's physical health but also um, their mental health. I'm really pleased with the amount of organisations that have turned up and the senior political support we've had and it really helps people to focus, to galvanise and to inspire them for how we go forward and really approach this across the whole of Coventry. This isn't just for the council to think about, this is for everybody to think about and I think today has been a great opportunity to, to really push that forward. Events like this bring us all together because this is much wider than the council and it gives us a real chance both to be inspired and energised but to confirm the work that we're doing day in and day out. Taking action on my six domains of recommendations is making a difference to the lives of people in Coventry and in the medium to longer term will make a difference to health inequalities.